Hey guys, if you haven't watched the other five videos in this series, go watch them first. I'm not super versed in pop culture, and my process for scripting this series wasn't careful enough, so I missed quite a few references. Thanks to all those who pointed them out and set me straight. Here are the ones I forgot or incorrectly referenced. First off, I was naive enough to take this line for granted. Strike down upon thee with great vengeance and fury! And I will strike down upon thee with great vengeance and fury! As actual scripture but Quentin Tarantino actually changed the line for Pulp Fiction. Ezekiel 25:17. The text in our universe's Ezekiel 25:17 is, And I will execute great vengeance upon them with furious rebukes, and they shall know that I am the Lord when I shall lay my vengeance upon them. Arthas says this line, I'm here to help which may be a subtle nod to his later corruption and abuse of royal power if it's referencing this. The nine most terrifying words in the English language are, I'm from the government, and I'm here to help. Though this quote does reference the What's Up ad, What's up It actually references a more specific commercial than the original. Yeah, wasabi. Wasabi. Since wasabi is a Japanese condiment, it fits with the Blade Master's theme more closely. Also, the clip I showed was actually a parody of the original on the film Scary Movie. The original clip is correctly shown for the ghouls line. This quote from the Wind Rider references the song Flash by Queen. Flash! <laughs> I made a mistake with the Dreadlord's vampire accent. Oh, for the last time, I'm a Dreadlord, not a drug lord. It's actually Romanian, which makes sense since Transylvania, the home of Count Dracula in the book, is located in Romania. Imbecile. Whoops. The Lich's line, Dead man walking, references a book of the same name written in 1993 by Sister Helen Prejean. The Crypt Fiend has a line with a pun referencing bondage, a type of erotic role playing. I like chicks that are into bandage. Also, his ready quote, The sleeper awakes, actually isn't a reference to Dune, but to a dystopian sci-fi novel of the same name by H.G. Wells. The actual similar quote is played straight in the Druid of the Claws lines. The sleeper has awakened. Speaking of the Druid of the Claw, I forgot about one other bear pun he says. Quit clicking on my bare ass. I forgot this quote from the Priestess of the Moon. Crouch, tiger. <laughs> I sense a hidden dragon. Obviously a reference to the film Crouching Tiger, Hidden Dragon. Dragon. Crouching tiger, hidden dragon. The Keeper of the Grove has one line I missed. Well, there it is. Life breaks free, it expands to new territories, and it crashes through barriers painfully, maybe even dangerously, but, uh, well, there it is. This fits in with his character's themes of nature and life. And this quote from the Demon Hunter could be referencing Ghostbusters. You will perish in flames. You will perish in flames! <laughs> Apparently this line from the Troll is also from Star Wars, spoken by the same character as his Diwani Wanga line. Jabba no bata batu. Jabba ma bata batu. This line from the Zeppelin is a reference to the character Sheila Braflovsky from South Park. What what what? What what what? I mentioned this quote from the Pit Lord because I thought it was funny. You know what burns my ass? A flame about this high. But I didn't realize it's actually a quote from the best little whorehouse in Texas. You know what burns my ass? A flame about three feet high. And lastly, going back to the Easter Bunny, when he says, I have an invisible human friend. He's actually referring to the 1950 film Harvey, where a character played by Jimmy Stewart, who the bunny's accent sounds like, has an invisible friend who's a six foot rabbit. Six feet? Six feet three and a half inches. Now let's stick to the facts. All right, now that does it for the quotes and references. Thanks again to those who pointed out the corrections for me. It's amazing the scope that Blizzard covered with all the units in Warcraft. Makes me wonder what media they reference in StarCraft. If you want more Warcraft 3 references, check out my new series, Cheat Enabled, where I look at the references that Warcraft 3's cheat codes refer to. Bye!